I don't care if he's Christian or Baptist, Mormon, Lutheran, I don't care. Joe Zamiki doesn't believe in a God, nor does he believe Governor Rick Perry should be spreading the gospel in the name of government. Those things do not matter and shouldn't matter and shouldn't be a part of his job. Zamiki is the state director of American Without Atheist of Incorporated, a the national group founded by the late Madeline Murray O'Hare, who successfully ended prayer in school in a 1963 Supreme Court case. This atheist group has another fight on their hands, they this time with Governor Perry's effort to lead the nation in prayer. The Texas government right now is having such problems that if our governor can't solve them or even address them or own up to his responsibility with them, I don't think a prayer is going to help. Perry, on the other hand, thinks otherwise. As an elected leader, I'm all too aware of government's limitations when it comes to fixing things that are spiritual in nature. That's where prayer comes in. You may have seen this campaign already, led by Perry. It's called The Response. On the site, the governor stresses, as a nation, we must come together, call upon Jesus to guide us through unprecedented struggles. Zamiki says doing the work of the people should be done inside the state capitol, not behind a pulpit. We don't need to gather for prayer to establish government issues, government protocol, or to convince our governor to do his job. So in protest, his group along with others plan to demonstrate while Perry and his followers in prayer unite in the name of the nation. I don't want religion coming to me from my government. According to Perry, the response will move forward as protesters plan their opposition to denounce what they say is a violation of church and state. John Salazar, YNN.